Um, I had a, a, an overdose, a drug overdose, you know, when I almost like died, let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm. And for two weeks, I couldn't say anything. I, I was just like, you know, just struggling to breathe, you know. Mm -hmm. Time now for MYD Heart, and today we'll touch on a truly inspiring story about a former rapper who traded in the mic for a pulpit as he now uses his talents to spread a different kind of message in studio. To share more is the man himself, former rapper, previously known as Slammer, evangelist Jeffrey Hausep. Jeffrey, welcome to 99FM. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming through. Um, it's, a truly, it's a truly inspiring message and, and journey that Namibia's uh, had the, the privilege of, of seeing. Just tell us a little bit about the, the journey from, from Slammer to evangelist. How has, how has that journey been for you? Well, epic, epic, epic. It's be um, to be honest, mm -hmm. um, actually very hard, mm -hmm. you know, very hard, to be honest. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty much, you know, you're going ag against everything you want mm -hmm. to, be, to, to, to then embrace, you know, um, something that um, is greater than you. Do you see what I was saying? Yeah. Something bigger mm -hmm. than you. So um, that, that was something that I had to, to sort of like uh, really struggle with, mm -hmm. you know, because... Um, being an artist, being slammer is all I knew, you mm -hmm. know, and that's that's who I was, and mm -hmm. that that was my element, mm -hmm. you, you see. And now I had to now embrace, um, 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 basically, um, um, a ministry, right, mm -hmm. and a life that um, I had to adapt, mm -hmm. you know, that I had to learn mm -hmm. how to live, you know. So that was just really a, um, a whole. It uh, took everything. It took everything. It took a lot of courage as well, you know, and humility as well. So yeah. So yeah. what on what prompted this 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 uh i wouldn't say change but what prompted the the conversion to uh christianity um the conversion to christianity you know several things you know a lot mm -hmm. of things basically um um things like um basically me having to um you know first of all my grandma mm -hmm. you know um when she died she gave me um a bible mm -hmm. which was the only gift she actually like only gift mm -hmm. she 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 basically gave me mm -hmm. and that was right um i had a, a an overdose a drug overdose you know when i almost like died let's just put it that way mm -hmm. and for two weeks i couldn't say anything I, I was just like you know just struggling to breathe you know mm -hmm. like stay alive mm -hmm. and just watching the, my mother and my grandma just taking care of me mm -hmm. and then um excuse me mm -hmm. long story short um, I survived that blow, and then my grandma gives me a book, you know, <laughs> which was yeah. my, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, my first um, um, Bible, yeah. you know, my first personal Bible. So I was like, you know, and she just puts it next to my um, um, bed, and she's like, take this book, read this book. That was 2007, December. Mm -hmm. And then next year, you know, she passed on um, in March, mm -hmm. 19th of March. And, and so that was like something special, because it was the only gift that she gave me. And, and um, this, and then... 2009, you know, uh, my, my, my mentor at the time my, and music producer, Eclipse, passed on. Mm -hmm. And just like two, three months before he passed on, he was actually reading, um, having a Bible mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. know, in the studio. That was kind of weird. And so yeah. he was always like every day he was just reading this, this little Bible, right? Yeah. And he was always telling, you know, every time he reads the Bible, he turns around and he's like, Slammer, yeah. do you need to stop smoking? Yeah, stop, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop, it, stop smoking, yeah. stop doing this. And because at that time I used to... I, I I was a rack yeah you know i was really all over the place you know and to so give you mini sermons yeah in mini studio. sermons in the studio and um and, and i just recently found out um that he actually you know just um th these last interviews that he had at mm -hmm. nbc tv and so forth with mm -hmm. with you know with with the gaza and all mm -hmm. these artists um he actually had the bible with and he was kind of like reading it there mm -hmm. and sort of giving mini sermons there and yeah. <laughs> that's what they told me <laughs> i'm like what yeah. and that's not eclipse like like that like yeah. eclipse really that he was kind of different like yeah. that so so that was just something like i think it sort of spoke into my life a little bit there mm -hmm. i guess you know and then and then fast forward, um, this this one time, you know, 2018, I believe, mm -hmm. um, I basically f find, found myself, you know, just, um, I was very depressed, mm -hmm. going under a very um, depressed, like um, some serious depression and, mm -hmm. and so forth. And and just sort of fighting with myself, contemplating, like, my, like what, why do I have to, you know, 
ah, man, I don't know how to put yeah. it, man. You know, like, you know that you, you became a Christian. 2013, yeah. I, I, I got baptized and yeah. I became a Christian, but then I derailed. Yeah. And, and this side, you know, the music industry is, is, is my life. And, yeah. and, you know, that's me. And mm. now I have to sort of change all that. And mm. so I was kind of stuck in the middle. So I was like, man, mm. what do I choose? Like, that do battle. I really? Yeah, that battle. And mm. so at that point, you know, um, I, I, I was so depressed. So I was doing, you know, um, one time um, in town with, with, with a couple of friends. And I was like, hey, man, you know, put me on some some strong you know mm. and then they uh, they really had some some mm. strong drug there yeah. you know and um next thing i know they they kind of put too much mm -hmm. and um all i know is i just kind of woke up and i was like you know my my whole body was like a shock of waves going through mm. and i was like whoa electricity kind mm. of thing and i was like whoa and it's and 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 i and and and, 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 it, and i sounded um inside like sort of like um you know like a car idling you know like mm. Mm. And I was like, whoa, what is this stuff? Mm. And I'm like, bro, this is really good. Mm. And I was like, what are you guys waiting for? Like, yo, bro, like, put me on, man. Mm. Another one. And the homie was just sort of like jaw open, like, yeah. you know, mouth open. He was just like staring just at me. And I'm like, bro, what, what's up? You yeah. know? And he's like, bro, like, I thought you, I thought you dead. Mm. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? And I, and I look at myself and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I, I, I'm covered in dirt. And I'm like, bro, mm. what's... Why, why do I got dirt on my clothes? Like, like what's going on? You know, and he, he's like, bro, you know, we, we were checking out your pulse, you know, your, your heartbeat, your, your, your breath was gone, bro. For like half an hour, you, you were cold, bro. Mm. No, no breath, nothing, no everything. I was like, bro, you, you, you for real. It's like, bro. And so at that point, they didn't want to um, put me on. And so I'm like, nah, man, put me on. And, and anyway, they, they, they did it anyway. Yeah. And then from there, I just took a cab, went home and then next time next day i came through i was like bro um and then everybody's telling me like yo this is the guy that resurrected yeah you know you know making fun like that but then at the same time they're like bro everybody's telling me the same thing like bro we we, we try to call the ambulance we wanted to call the ambulance yeah. but at the same time these are dealers yeah so they're also thinking like yo all this hype though like mm. imagine you know this 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 could just make front page mm. news you know like yo namibian artists mm. you know just you know overdose died and mm. there's gonna be investigations there's gonna be questions you know so they're like ah we don't we don't need that heat right now mm -hmm. so but anyway so that was the, so they told me for 30 minutes i was mm. i was out but mm. I, I didn't even know that mm. you know and i there was no breath no pulse no heartbeats no nothing and then a, a week or two later i meet another homeboy in 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 Windhoek north yeah where i lived and he, and we were talking about you know there was he was we were talking about drugs and stuff and mm -hmm. then next thing we were talking about my music mm -hmm. and he was like yo bro like we Windhoek north we've been you know rapping for you we've been holding it down for you and you've been holding it down but come through man you never showed love to Windhoek north you know yeah. like shoot a video or something and he was giving talking about ideas and all yeah. that kind of stuff you know how it is yeah and we were conversating and then you know we were smoking together you know um, um, something there as well, like a blunt mm -hmm. at the time. And so he was, and, and next, like, and then next weekend, this homie, um, I'm actually staring at his coffin, right? He died. Mm -hmm. Just the next, like next the weekend, week we're burying that. him, yeah. And so I'm staring in front, I'm, I'm st standing in front of his coffin, and guess what he died from? How he died? He huh. died of a drug overdose the same way that I would have died, mm -hmm. you know, like um, two weeks earlier. Mm -hmm. And that's when it hit me. I was like, wait a minute, bro. Mm. The life changed. Yeah, that, that just sort of like really hit me because I'm staring at a guy that I was just talking to last weekend. Mm. And this weekend, mm. we are burying him and I'm looking at his coffin. Mm -hmm. He's there peacefully laying there. He's gone. Mm. And this guy was using the same drug, mm -hmm. you know. That almost uh, took Yeah, you. that took my life. Yeah. Almost took my life. But yeah. he just didn't make it. Yeah. And in the same way that it almost took my life, it took his life. Mm -hmm. You know, but I got another chance. And, and, and I realized, like, yo, okay, maybe I need to change my life mm -hmm. here, bro. You know? And it's a, it's a full circle moment to uh, the way the, 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 the little personal Bibles have been strategically uh, placed in your exactly. life. It creates a little full circle yeah. moment for you there as well. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Um, and, I mean, you, you said it, it, life is a, a balance for you right now of, you know, fighting, for, fighting yourself for what the body wants and, mm -hmm. and you know, what you want for yourself. Uh, um, do you have any advice 
uh, that you would like to share with um, people who might be in a, a similar situation, and um, you know, especially the, the youth of Namibia, uh. um, in terms of like the situation you were in, and some kids might be in there now. Any advice and uh, maybe words of wisdom to those that are listening right now? Mm, well, um, first of all, you know, look to your, look within yourself, you know, um, and 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 know that as much as we are a um, 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 a community, mm-hmm. at the same time, you 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 know, you still have a purpose. Mm-hmm. And you gotta, you have a purpose with God. You know, mm-hmm. there's, there's, um, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and we know that. You know, and um, what do we make of that? Mm-hmm. What do you make of that? Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's that's something you have to sort of take time and just sort of uh, meditate on. Like, what do you make about the fact that Jesus died mm-hmm. for your sins mm-hmm. and for the world? You know, and is His death going to mean something to you? And Jesus gives us a purpose to live for. Mm-hmm. You know, a higher purpose. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's to 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 have God as our Father. You mm-hmm. know, and so you. I heard the gospel the same way and I, and I got baptized and ever since then, you know, look where I am, you know, mm-hmm. and um, so my life has changed a lot, you know, mm-hmm. today I go around and, and you know, like um, I go to schools, mm-hmm. I get invited to schools, colleges, you know, just to mm-hmm. share my testimony and share the gospel, you know, mm-hmm. and just sort of encourage believers and even young people out there that, hey, you know what? You know, you don't just have to live for to make money, mm-hmm. and 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 that's it. You know, you can you can do that, but at the same time, you can have a purpose, a special purpose to, yeah. that you can also you know um, serve in your life. And and how can uh, the the public get in touch with you? Where can um, you know people catch you on the on the pulpit ministering? Where can where can people get in touch with with Jeffrey? Yeah, um, with um, um, well, I I preach in the local church, the mm-hmm. Church of Christ, in the, um, um, Winduk. Um, Don Garhu Karatura. Mm-hmm. You know, that's um, um, Saturdays. We, um, um, our, our, our worship service is every Saturday, mm-hmm. I mean, every Sunday. Mm-hmm. That's um, 9 to 11 in the morning on mm-hmm. Sundays. And then Wednesdays and Thursdays, I mean, Wednesdays and Fridays, we meet for um, 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 fellowship meetings. Um, that's Wednesdays, it's Bible studies, 6 30 mm-hmm. to, to 7 30. And um, Fridays, it's sing alongs. Um, 6.30 to 7.30s. Mm-hmm. And um, on social media, then you can you can just get me Jeffrey um, mm-hmm. dot house of Jeffrey mm-hmm. house of basically on, on, on Twitter. Mm-hmm. I mean, on um, Instagram, Instagram and, um, uh, and Facebook. Okay. And um, on, on Twitter and TikTok, it's, you know, COC TV mm-hmm. Namibia. That's Church of Christ TV mm-hmm. Namibia. So, and, and my YouTube channel, you can also um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's, mm-hmm. that's Church of Christ TV Namibia. I'll mm-hmm. be starting a, a TV podcast, just teaching the word, you know, in, okay. much, yeah, in, in much detail. Um, okay. You know, one topic at a time, at just time, breaking yeah. the Bible down properly. Yeah. And that's what, um, that's, that's what they can expect. That's a very uh, interesting, interesting journey, and uh, we can't wait to keep in touch. You heard all the socials there if you're listening, and you want to uh, definitely get in touch and maybe even just uh, share your personal uh, story with with uh, Jeffrey and and maybe just connect as well on on a, a common topic and a common uh, uh, I guess path to life. Then by all means uh, do reach out, uh, Jeffrey. Thank you so much for taking the time and sharing your story. And uh, we can't wait to see where the rest of the journey uh, takes you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is MYD Heart, where we get to matters of the heart, and in this case, matters of the spirit as well. MYD Heart was proudly brought to you by NHP. NHP.